Hello and uh, welcome to the Awa Show. I'm Awa. My guest today is a lovely lady who's an uh, acupuncturist. Her name is Aruba Lamiel. Gamliel. Gamliel. Yeah. Did I say it right yes. this time? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's not easy for me to say Gamliel. <laughs> How are you, honey? Good, thank you. Good. So I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Likewise. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Thank you. You are an acupuncturist. You do a lovely job. I got uh, testimonies from people who tell me how good you make them feel. But before we go into that, can you just please tell me a little bit of your background? Yes. Um, my background is in pre-med. I studied psychobiology at UC Santa Cruz. Okay. And then I went on to pursue graduate studies at Bastyr University, which is a world-renowned leader for natural health. Beautiful. I did two degrees. One is in naturopathic medicine and the other one is in acupuncture. Now, you look like you are 25. Oh, thank you. The most. <laughs> thank you. I mean, mm -hmm. how long have you been doing this? I've been in the field of medicine for about 16 years. I started as a phlebotomist in high school. Oh, and <laughs> that's great. Yeah, so I've been working with needles for a long time. Wow. And uh, since then, I've done various aspects, everything from clinical training to um, working at, in hospitals, volunteering, physical therapy, until I finally came across the branch of medicine that really resonated with my heart, yes. which is the naturopathic medicine and the acupuncture. And that is something we do have in common. Mm. So tell me more because um, I, I got a lot of testimonies from people who tell me how much you made them feel and they all had different kind of uh, need, a different pain and you, you seem to cover them all with acupuncture. Yes, acupuncture is a wonderful healing modality. It can help not only with pain but also with emotional problems like depression and stress. It can help with any problem that somebody would go see a doctor. Yes. Um, it could be even for digestive problems, for problems with sleep, for fertility problems, both for men and for women. Oh really? Yes. By just having needles? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me more about that. Not, not that I'm needing it, but it just sounds like you cannot heal from, uh, I mean, somebody who's as uh, ill, I mean, being not having a baby, I mean, they go through so much pain, right. uh, wanting it, if they just knew. From the Chinese perspective, we have meridians or channels of energy in our body. Yes. And what happens is that over the years with trauma, um, imbalances in the diet, uh, sedentary lifestyle, yes. all kinds of um, deficiencies, mm -hmm. we create blockages of the energy flow in our body. So as an ac acupuncturist, what I do is I facilitate the free flow of energy in the body. That's so right. that helps people to overcome many different health challenges. But not only do I use acupuncture as a tool, I look at the whole person. Yes. So I took in, into account their nutrition, mm -hmm. supplementation. Mm -hmm. I coach them on lifestyle factors such as not smoking, Mm -hmm. um, meditating, you know, all kinds of different things that can help them to improve their health. And of course, exercise is one of them. So, so it's a body, mind, and spirit. Absolutely. It's a whole spectrum yes. uh, that you're working with the person. And that's what I love about what I do because it addresses the issue from all these different angles and you get the best results. And I totally agree. Mm -hmm. I think one cannot be healed without touching uh, the other ones it's and balancing related. everything. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, you came with the needles today, mm -hmm. and earlier I had a headache. And just seeing the needles, just like I told you, I was like, ah, oh, I'm about to be healed. <laughs> and, and, and I started to feel better. I mean, that's great. And, and that was an answer to a question that was a frequently asked question by your patients, yes. which is, do I need to believe it for it to work? Right. Right. Many people want to know, do I need to believe in it? And I tell them, actually, you don't have to believe in it because yes. the proof that it works is that it works on animals and children yes. and they don't believe in it and they just have the acupuncture and the results are so fast and you can't deny it, you know, and it, and it can't be a placebo effect because they're not thinking, oh, well, I just had acupuncture, so I should be feeling better. That's right. That's <laughs> yeah. right. But I will say, you can, anybody, can say yes to their healing 
or no to it. Right, you could block it or you, you could be open it. to it. Yeah. I, I do believe so. Sure. And uh, another beautiful stuff that I read about you is that you work also with plant mm -hmm. essential oils. Yes. And that is something that you add in your daily practice or? Absolutely. I take each case on an individual basis. Okay. So I don't treat conditions, I treat people. Yes. So different people have different conditions for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Or you might have two people with the similar um, factors that created illness and they might manifest different illnesses. Right. So each case is individual and so what I like to do is I match herbal substances, homeopathic remedies, yes. um, nutritional information, you know, recommendations on what to eat and what not to eat. And I match that with the individual that I'm working with. And mm -hmm. for example, um, a lady came to see me with back pain and she had already had surgery, she still had pain. Mm -hmm. Not only did I do the acupuncture to help her reduce the pain, but I went over all of the different factors that contribute to back pain. For example, the high heel shoes that she was wearing, yeah. you know, that That's it, it right. all starts with your feet and That's it right. translates up. Yes. Her, her, um, chair in her office was not ergonomically set up so mm -hmm. her posture was incorrect was right. so yeah. then she had to get a special chair and um, she started doing yoga and Pilates and strengthening the abdominal muscles because if your abdominal muscles are weak then guess what everything else is it's like a pulley system yes. you, it's a it's all about balance that's right so I help people to balance themselves and we have to look at all of the pieces of the puzzle not just the acupuncture not just this supplementation for example I used magnesium with her because yes. magnesium is an essential mineral for muscle relaxation that's right and I used a, a plant substance um, called AFA which is a blue-green algae and it helps to detoxify the body because when we're full of toxins of course we're gonna have pain and discomfort and other symptoms yes and, so. and, and the life that we're living now I mean it's all about toxic oh my gosh so pain depression fatigue I mean, fatigue and yes, I agree, those shoes. Oh yeah, those, those high heel shoes. Who's it's making torture. those shoes? Who, who do you make Men. those shoes? Men do, make those shoes. Well, you know what is so funny? Because when I ask my husband, he's like, honey, that's the most ridiculous thing. Mm -hmm. Men don't like to see those women in those high heels and don't walk right. I'm like, well then, right. we're what are we doing it for? message here. Right. So the shoes eliminate the high heel shoes. Mm -hmm. Definitely go see somebody. Mm -hmm. and, and start to work now. Yes, and nutrition, as you mentioned, pollution is yes. everywhere, yes. not only in the air we breathe, in the environment, in air conditioning, in the carpets, um, the soil that is used to grow even organic produce is depleted of minerals. Knows, so right. we cannot today um, achieve the vitamin and nutrient value that we need through our diets even if you have a perfect diet that's right because the soil is depleted so if you grow a tomato where does it get the vitamins from the soil that's right. if that soil is depleted that tomato is gonna have you know 30 percent less vitamins so that means that we have become deficient yes and so we need to supplement in order to achieve our optimal health and well-being and so I target which specific nutrients every individual needs Need. I can do that with with blood work and find out which deficiencies are there. Yes. But one of the other things, as we talked about toxicity is a huge issue, mm -hmm. is that we need to remove the obstacles to cure. So I do detox with people, That's cleanse right. the liver, cleanse the gut, heavy metals, once we eliminate that, then we're removing the obstacles to cure, that's and then right. we can function optimally again. That's, that's right. Oh, we'll be right back with more of Ahuva Amliel. I said it right this Gamliel. time. Gamliel. Oh, Gamliel. <laughs>